you are in the house of Bloomberg. Who are our viewers? They're investors. Some investors who are loving your pop last week, but we've also got the David Einhorns of the world, who in 2014 really went after you, one of his most well-known shorts. Tell us about this growth strategy. How are you winning? How is he wrong? Uh, well, I don't know how he's wrong. Uh, you could ask him. I would enjoy and I would be one of the viewers. Uh, but we've just, it, it's so obvious that healthcare uh, needs to be online. This internet thing is not our idea. I'm not claiming <laughs> it, but I, my theory is it's going to be big in healthcare as well as everywhere else. Most doctors are either, you know, 10 years ago they were all on paper, today they're all offline. The only way you can be truly online as a physician in the United States today is on AthenaNet. And we just believe that that's going to be a more and more, you know, it used to be a cool sort of new age thing to do, get rid of a lot of your billing expense, be more in engaging with your patients when they're not in the office. Now it's getting more like a gotta, gotta do thing. And so we've been able to keep that 30% average growth rate that we've been shooting for, you know, right through since our IPO eight years ago. And how are you going to keep that up? <sighs> um, get up early. Come on, no, come no. on, I'm not going to well, do that. I, there is, and frankly, one of the great things that's going to help us as we really, you know, you need now whole tectonic plates to grow organically 30% off of a, what is, looks like about a billion dollar run rate. Uh, and, and to do that, we need to tap into that deep sort of vein of frustration that we all are familiar with. I, I don't know if I sent you the little video, let doctors be doctors that we yes. sent out. We are finding that vein of frustration that all of us know of the crap work and the defensive medicine and the noise that doctors are being forced through, we are being forced through. We're offering to relieve that and it's creating really, really broad-based deep support. All right. Think about Netflix. What really drove Netflix? We were mad at late fees. Doctors are mad at shit work. <laughs> okay, you've got to be mad at the market. You are the most shorted stock in your sector. You've got to be frustrated. Why? Tell me why you're the most shorted stock. I've never really been threatened by short people. It's my problem for Are not you being a good after listener. Me now? No, no, you look because you know with yeah. all the. Yeah, no, I, I don't think about it at all. Yeah, that's not true. It, you definitely have to you. think about it. What am I going to do? I, there's no refunds. You buy the stock. You don't buy the stock. I'm already rich. Who cares? We, if we grow this company 30 percent a year, right? And we make doctors as high as net promoter score as we've got and keep them there. And we add more and more products, add more and more nodes. So we've just started going into hospitals now. We've got 50 little tiny hospitals on Athena Net. That's what I've got to do. And if you guys value it on the thing and make it go up, great. If it goes down, you know, boo, but it's okay. So, so as you say, it seems inevitable that this has got to go online. That seems just, just right? arithmetic, right? I mean, call me right. crazy, but, but I really think this but, internet's going to be big. Like, why are you, you the only game in town? As Warren Buffett would say, what's the moat around your business? Well, the moat was, uh, was the federal government at some level. So there was this big movement. The High Tech Act was the first thing Obama did when he was elected. Everybody's going to get $30 billion for getting on EMRs. But you have to be an EMR that's certified by the committee of HIT, C the CCHIT. And so we were the only new entrant venture-backed player that was far enough along to get CCHIT certified. And so all the little guys, you know, help me, help me, shkunk, the kind of the door closed behind them. Is it them. too late for somebody else to come in? Well, it would be tough to take on a market. It's always tough to take on a market leader, right? Mostly what's going on, as we're seeing everywhere in healthcare, as you're covering this morning, is the established players are merging or dying. And, you know, the old way of doing things is getting more efficiently delivered. Hospitals are merging, payers are merging, pharmacies are merging. And then the emergent players... Uh, are coming on, coming on with the internet. Where are you making money? Is it on billing? Is it on records? Something else? The oldest services uh, make the most because we've done the most automation. So our oldest service is the collector service. It's got the most margins and the best value because it's just been, you know, 12 years of automation. The newest service, the population health service that's finding patients that are missing out on care that will ultimately show up in the hospital, grabbing them early, getting them into the doctor's office, that service is, you know, not making as much money because we're doing it effectively but not yet efficiently. We'd rather be effective for the customer and we'll figure out efficiently later. Buy my stock, sell my stock, I'm already rich, I don't care. I care, but it, what, what, what kind of CEO should run his day based on what's going on on the stock price? I grew up in New York Your City. Your shareholders, like, guys hold on a killed. second. Your shareholders matter. On some level, they're your employer. I know you're not on the dating scene, but How do you people know? don't, well, excuse me, yeah. be it for me. <laughs> wow. But you you want to be turn. centered, right? You want to be centered. We have a great and noble mission, right? We are going to create the healthcare internet. We're going to do it by being the most trusted service 
healthcare providers can find for the things that threaten them and that create opportunity for them. That's what we do every day. If we do that well, I just know the stock's going to follow. The fact that you have to go through sort of uncool kid periods, so what? You'll get your, you'll get your day. We did last week. We're thrilled. You know, but you then can't if, run if, that. If it's like trying to drive a boat by looking at the bubbles going out the stern. If the shareholder or the threat of a David Einhorn doesn't get you down, what does keep you up at night? What are you worried about in terms of leading this company? Losing a customer, getting a customer uh, to not even get the meeting and then go buy traditional software. Most doctors don't even know, still, well, half of doctors, hospitals, don't even know that we exist, don't even know that you can do this stuff in the cloud. Every day I hear in my head the scratching sound of contracts being signed for old world enterprise software in 2015 that should be on Athena Net, and it drives me berserk. Drives him berserk. <laughs> well, a guy shorting his stock, that doesn't get him down. Okay, so Athena Health CEO, Jonathan Bush, thank you very much. Oh, it's a treat. Thank it's you guys for having here. me.